Welcome and welcome back everybody to the OK Grognard Show. Today is Monday, February 20th, 2023, 10 a.m. Central in beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. And uh, usually toward the beginning of the year, I like to give a little shout out to Lake Geneva Games where I put in some hours and both working and gaming, <laughs> which is great. Jason Letke owns the shop. It's a store that he started back in 2010, right around Thanksgiving. Black Friday, I think, was the official opening day back in 2010. So he's been at it for coming up on 12 and a half years. And uh, it's been going well. Ups and downs, of course. COVID probably being the most prominent one, which uh, shuttered the place for about 13 months after crunching the numbers as the lockdown was coming up. It was decided that uh, it was less expensive to just be closed completely than it was to let, you know, almost no sales but constant attention to the pricing of singles and staff hours and all of that caused the place to have to shut its doors permanently. So after powwowing with Jason about that, powwowing, my apologies if that bothers anybody, meeting with Jason about that and crunching the numbers, the decision was made to uh, to just uh, shut down 13 months, reopen better than ever, the store has been doing uh, fantastic. Uh, the monthly gross is two to three times what it was pre-COVID on average. And uh, it's fantastic. 2022 was uh, the best year on the books that the store has had. Now, since I've been back, because I didn't get back right away. They reopened in April, almost two years ago. And I rejoined the staff in August, end of July. I have been working weekends and other hours to uh, make sure that the store had its uh, most experienced staff giving it their all. Uh, We've had a few different part-time people. We've got two now, Jade and... Ian, who are doing great. So I talked to Jason earlier this month about transitioning off of off of uh, weekends and working weekdays instead. And we're also bringing on, and I don't know if I can officially say this yet, but we've got a new employee who's coming in who's familiar in the game world and uh you know i'll leave it at that when uh when this person works their first day i will make a regular announcement about that in the meantime it does mean i'll get the chance to do some weekend gaming again of course gary con's coming up in just four weeks one month roughly, and uh, that's going to be fantastic. Maybe it's five weeks. And, ooh, teaser, who could it be, says Sarah. Well, you'll just have to wait to find out. Stay tuned, and you'll know soon enough. The um, the other news, I guess, that uh, just kind of came up and got solidified yesterday was that... Um, Wayne Targo, Von Deacon, the famous Von Deacon's uh, gathering, the gathering of gamers, which uh, used to happen on third Saturdays, originally third Sundays, but moved to third Saturday some while ago up at the Pizza Ranch in Elkhorn, uh, is having too much competition for the space up there. So they've opted to 
relinquish their uh, intentions to play regularly at the Pizza Ranch and have asked and have been, you know, negotiations with uh, with Jason. Hey, can we move it to uh, LGG, says Wayne. Uh, yeah, of course, said I. Let me get Jason on the phone. Hey, Jason, Wayne wants to move uh, the Gathering of Gamers, the monthly board gaming thing, to here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So there's your negotiations, basically, in a nutshell. It'll be moving to first Sunday, which uh, was for a long time a traditional board gaming day at uh, Lake Geneva Games. It'll be a good crowd if you're if you're a board gamer looking for new board games to board game with. It's definitely one of those times. I mean, a lot of times we'll get people at the game store who have their own group, and occasionally they'll uh, have other people filter in and out of those groups. But for the most part, people tend to make their plan to come play a board game together as a, as a group. But something nice about an event like this on a monthly basis is it is a chance to meet new gamers, and you can coordinate what you're going to play and who you're going to play with in their in their group, in their forum, on uh, on Facebook or otherwise, you know, through emails, however you want to do it. But um, it does provide the opportunity to play with some new people and to also uh, to also uh, play new games that you haven't played that other people have. Test them out, give them a try, see if there's something you want to add to your own collection, which is always nice too. Shout out to Eric Maury, who uh, stopped in the store yesterday, who went to their first gathering, the Gathering of Gamers, on Saturday. Um, they're back in the area, having been down in Indiana for a while. They've been back for a little while, but haven't just found that group. And of course, they go to the Elkhorn Pizza Ranch, and then the day after they attend, they find out it's moving to Lake Geneva Games. So he stopped on in. Uh, he and his wife like to play board games and are always looking for, you know, more people to game with. So stopped by the store. And uh, very nice. And it just goes to show how fast things can happen and how uh, groups can form and more people can get together in game. So feel free. I think the average um, amount of people that were in recent years getting up to Pizza Ranch, let's say post-COVID, uh, I hate using that phrase because some form of it's going to be around forever, right? But uh, post-lockdown, let's say that. Yeah. Um, Sarah's saying he played... Uh, circadians with us put a target on his back right away poor guy yeah he explained that to me i we talked about who was there and stuff and we found out he had gamed with you and i think dennis and some one or two other people and uh he said that the move he made put did indeed put a target on his back right away even though it wasn't uh it wasn't a move that was really going to pan out all that quickly anyway so he kind of uh shot himself in both feet as it were but uh he liked the game and uh and that was neat and I'm, I'm glad he got to join you guys and i'm glad he met uh so many of the wonderful gamers that play with that and hopefully uh the first sundays thing will pick back up um i was saying it in recent times wayne was telling me it averages between 20 24 and 30 30 players and we've got room for probably up to 50 players comfortably gaming at the space so come join us have some fun it's definitely uh well worth the price of admission which is free feel free to stop by uh you know culver's mcdonald's burger king kfc quick chip quick trip uh you know and pick up some uh pick up some food or snacks on the way in and there is a vending machine with uh, some drinks and snacks candy and 
other snacks in it so get a look at that when you do get to the store it's not outrageously priced and we try to keep it well stocked so you know in a pinch there's that but there's no prohibition against outside food or drink so feel free to do that too we're happy to have people come in and play games if you haven't been back to Lake Geneva games since the reopening you will not have seen that there are a ton more board games than there used to be on the shelves the space was revamped a bit um, more prominence was given to the board gaming section and it's probably twice as many titles on the shelves as there were uh, pre-covid pre-lockdown so it's a great deal it's a great deal more which is wonderful too for this particular event because i know that uh, people like to get a chance to pick stuff up look them over talk to other people that are experts on games or have played particular games whether it's staff at lake geneva games or or uh, other gamers who uh, are part of the part of the group who often know <laughs> often know more than even the staff does so at least about particular games so it's a good uh, it'll be a good fit it'll be a real good fit and, and lake geneva games is absolutely uh, very happy that uh not happy that they had to move their space a lot of fun at the Elkhorn pizza ranch a lot of great food a lot of great times gaming it was a wonderful fit for a long time a lot of great memories there but push came to shove and uh, they needed a place and Lake Geneva games is more than happy to provide it so that works out fine uh, of course, uh, geez, most weekends very packed. Uh, Wargaming often happens in the secret room in the afternoon on Saturdays with uh, some early EDH Commander players, Magic the Gathering players, starting their Saturday off uh, in the big room. And uh, that eventually takes over the whole place on Saturdays. So if you're a Magic the Gathering Commander player, by all means, stop in on a Saturday and join the fun it's free to play and uh you sign up on the uh mtg Coma companion app and uh, get a free promo free magic the gathering promo what could be better than that and on sundays uh well we'll have first sundays will be the the gathering of gamers it is a gathering of gamers it's not the gathering of gamers that is how he calls it, a gathering of gamers. Anyway, sorry about that, Wayne. And um, second Sunday, of course, is the OSR at LGG. That's old school renaissance. Uh, Ken has been stalwartly running games there. Um, now that I'm going to be transitioning off of weekends and working weekdays, which I mentioned early in the show, um, I will have weekends free to do some gaming, which will include... First Sunday board gaming, I'm probably going to be running a, uh, a game on Sundays, the second Sundays for Old School Renaissance Day at uh, LGG. We'll make it an open, open table. I'll advertise it and get that going. So that'll be starting on the 12th, right? Is that the second Sunday of March? And then um, third Sunday, there's a, a group of... Uh, star wars destinies it's the card and dice uh, star wars game that they play and uh, they actually stream it online uh, there's about a dozen people who play that regularly if that's your jam by all means come check that out on third sundays um i've talked to uh they they play here and there and other times and other places as well but there's a group that play conquest regularly that were in yesterday having a tournament a three-round tournament and uh, lots of prizes and stuff but they regularly played I suggested perhaps they attempt to uh, take over fourth Sunday since it's open and of course fifth Sunday is up for grabs on the oddball months where a fifth Sunday exists um, 
gee, that's that's it. I mean, the rest of the schedule, you go to uh, the Lake Geneva Games website, and you will uh, see the schedule there. I wonder if I can just bring that up real quick, because I certainly would love to show that. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's pop on over there. There you go, LakeGenevaGames.com. I'll put that in the show notes. By all means, check it out. Some of this stuff, we don't have any of these snow globe dice right now. We had them for Christmas, and they're gone. And it's a, a legacy thing on the front page. But if you scroll all the way down, you look over to the right here, or down at the very bottom under information, you see an events calendar. This will be updated soon to include some of these other things that that are going on it's a google calendar the store hours in march are changing we'll be opening every day <laughs> april 15th yeah that's the old but here's the calendar right first sundays second sundays right uh open war gaming commander edh uh, we have a friday night 25 dollar draft whatever the current standard set is usually what is drafted unless some special set comes out that is draftable open board gaming on Thursday. Plenty of room. Bring a group. Come on out and play some board games. By all means. We've got uh, RPGs all day on Wednesday. We're currently closed on Tuesdays. But that's changing. We're going to open on Tuesdays. We're going to open every day at noon. Sunday through Thursday. Open till 9. Open till 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. That's all starting in March as we expand the hours and expand the staff and uh, create a lot more fun for everybody. So that's the way that goes. Uh, check that out when you get a chance on LakeGenevaGames.com. Just remember, it's going to be updated very soon. Thank you, everybody. Hey, thanks for stopping into the chat there, by the way. Appreciate it with your uh, your insights and information. Good fella. Eric, I uh, look forward to meeting his wife and for the uh, for the two of them to be able to make it out. They might not make it out this first Sunday. She's, I'm told uh, they have a scheduling conflict, and it just changed yesterday. We'll see how many people make it out. Should be fun. Anyway, thank you, everybody. You take care, and we'll uh, do the closing thing now, huh? What does the closing thing include? I believe it includes saying... The shows are streamed live on Twitch each Monday at 10 a.m. Central, and then they're archived on YouTube. Follow the channel. Chime in on the chat. Definitely give a thumbs up to any videos you like and enjoy on the YouTube. And subscribe and click the little bell so you receive updates. Thanks to our Patreon supporters. Tom Tullis of Fat Dragon Games. Carlos Lysing of Castle Entertainment. Heath Farndon of the NPD and D20. Dave O'Brien of Four Quacks Games. Shane Bradley, a DM extraordinaire. This has been the OK Grognar Show from beautiful Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Thank you, and bye-bye. <laughs>